my podcast, on the show, I interview uh, Latinos in entertainment all the time. And one thing I hear is sort of a common experience, which is an initial theory of change, which is just if people saw us more, that they would understand us more. And then all of a sudden that pivots to, we have to be in charge of how budgets are put together. We have to be in charge of which stories get greenlit. There, there's so much more work that is happening in rooms where decisions are being made that, that is even bigger than who gets to be in front of the camera. That is, that is one piece of this. I wonder, as you looked at this report, sort of what became clear to you about what needs to change and why you have an entire decade that goes by, Congressman, and you only see a 1% improvement. Well, basically, the media industry has sidelined the Latino community. Uh, take Los Angeles, for example, which is the city that has the largest Latino population in the United States. It's about 48% Latino. And it is a home base for Hollywood, for the entertainment industry in this country. And uh, in, in the entertainment industry, Latinos only get about 7 or 7.5% 7 of the work in front of and behind the camera. Uh, and so you've got this huge Latino population in that city that's basically being sidelined and not being allowed to be part of the process of telling Latino stories and American stories in mass media and mass entertainment. Uh, and that's a problem, not just, like you said, it's not just a matter of which actor or actress gets a role on screen. If that's all it was, I would have never jumped into this for the last three years. The images, the, Hollywood is still the main image-defining and narrative-creating institution in the United States and therefore the world. And so the negative stereotyping and the impressions that are left by Hollywood on the American people and on the world about the Latino community of Latinos as gangbangers, as quote-unquote illegals, Latinas as hypersexualized on screen, that affects every Latino or Latina who is going and walking into a room of strangers uh, and applying for a job as a teacher or a firefighter or an accountant or whatever it may be, because people already have an impression of you and your community that has been negative, and has been negative because of Hollywood, not just for a few years, but for generations.